first we need to get to the main screen of the mate. While holding the mate, press the bottom left two buttons at the same time. From this screen you have the options of Summary, Status, Setup, and Advanced. Press Advanced. Press any button to skip over the warning screen. Now press the Increase button to change your password to 141. Press Enter. Next, choose Mate. Then choose AGS. Select Setup. AGS port number should coincide with the port number on the hub that you have the inverter plugged into. For instance, if you are using your master inverter's auxiliary port to control AGS, this number would be 1 because your master inverter should be in port 1 of the hub. If you do not have a hub in the system and your mate is plugged directly into the inverter, this number should be 0. Press down. AGS enabled. Press yes to enable AGS. Press down. AGS control. Select change. Select auto to change gen start control to auto off. Press OK. Press down. DC gen set. Select yes only if your generator is a DC generator. Otherwise leave this at no. Press down. VDC gen stop. This should only be changed if you have a DC generator. This function tells the system when to tell the generator when to turn off. With an AC generator, we want your system to do a full absorb cycle. Therefore, we do not want this number to be the deciding factor as to when your generator turns off. With a DC generator, you would decrease this number to your absorb voltage set point. With an AC generator, a 12 volt system should say 19 volts a 24 volt system should say 38 volts, and a 48 volt system should say 76 volts. Press down. AGS fault time. 17 minutes is a good number to leave this at. This is the amount of time allowed between the inverter telling the generator to turn on and the system not sensing AC power. If after 17 minutes the system does not sense AC power from the generator, your system will display a fault. You can change this to be anywhere from 6 to 30 minutes. Press down. Cooldown time can be programmed to be anywhere from 0 to 30 minutes. Check with your generator manufacturer to see what the optimal cooldown time for your particular generator would be. If you're not sure, leave it at 0 for now. Press down. Warm up time can be programmed to be anywhere from 0 to 30 minutes. Check with your generator manufacturer to see what the optimal warm up time for your particular generator would be. This number must be less than the AGS fault time, otherwise your system will fault. Press down. You have successfully enabled AGS. You can now press the bottom left two buttons at the same time to get back to the main screen.